Well, hello. Welcome back to another video. First video I've filmed in three months, I think. I did one after I got back from Sweden, the uh, ration review, and yeah, then I dropped off the face of the planet, didn't I? <laughs> so if all goes well and to plan, I'm going to film another video in a minute, which will go out before this, with a bit of an explanation. But if you missed that, or I didn't get around to filming it, I've been a busy boy. Work, um, my personal life, all of that. It's been up, down, all over the place. And yeah, so I've just kind of shut off from YouTube and um, now I'm back out. So uh, I know people have been sending messages, comments and stuff, but because I've just shut off from it completely, apologies, I'll get back to you all in due course. Uh, and thanks for your kind words. Um, Tom's passed some on, uh, Simon's passed some on. But yeah, nothing serious. It's just been been a hell of a couple of months, really. <laughs> right, so I'm not used to this at all. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get out um, since kind of work dropped off a bit uh, and I've not been so busy because kind of nerves, I guess, really. Um, talking to the camera again, getting out camping again. Um, I don't really do summer. I, I don't like the heat. <laughs> so... Uh, that always puts me off as well, where if you remember last summer I didn't really put out much in the way of camping videos kind of at the height of summer, because it was a hot one. Um, but yeah, so I finally got out. Where am I? I'm in Devon. Um, I've been here before. I've camped in this little woodland before, um, going to uh, Dartmoor before. And uh, I thought I'd pop back here, um, do a little one-nighter, and um, then go down to uh, Cornwall. Um, Gonna have a night in a hotel and um, just have a kind of night out in Newquay and um, then I'm gonna do another night that's the plan on the um, Cornwall coast as it's pretty beautiful and I've never camped on the Cornwall coast before did have plans to do something with some other youtubers and stuff before hopefully get around to that at some point but this is just me on my own getting out there and uh, you know getting back into it <laughs> so this place is a permission um, it's the Ottervale Wild Campsite. Um, no one here, no one here at all. It's a weeknight. The place is empty. They've got kind of a bit of a meadow and they've got quite a nice big woodland here. Plenty of room for everything, fires and stuff, all to myself. Uh, which is nice, makes this filming a lot easier because that's what I was hoping for. So, what am I going to do? Well, not that much. I'm not going to be doing any building, making, um, carving or anything like that. Um, just going to take it easy, have a bit of a chill. Of course I'll do some cooking. Probably saw me bring in a couple of Dutch ovens, so we'll uh, touch on them a bit more uh, later. Um, for now, probably need to get set up, I think. It's, it's getting late in the afternoon now. Uh, it took me four or five hours to drive down here, traffic. Um, so yeah, I'll get set up and uh, see what's what. Probably get a fire started, because what I'm cooking is going to take quite a while. And um, Let's see what's what. Well, all set up, no dramas. Got the uh, Lux Hex Peak up, thought I'd bring that along. Um, and I've got the uh, bathtub inner for it as well, the footprint. Um, I like this, I've not used it in woodland before because it is quite thin, so I've always been a bit worried. So I've only used it like on the moors and stuff, but um, you know, it's a barrier, we'll see. And uh, got the usual therm rest with me. But yeah, 
pretty set up. I think what I might do now is um, go get some wood. I've actually brought some with me because the truck is just on the edge of the woodland because uh, I was able to drive in and uh, maybe collect some as well and uh, get some tinder and stuff together. We need to get cooking. So this is just a little uh, kind of log carrier that I picked up. I think it was just off eBay, it was a couple of months ago now and I've not had a chance to use it yet. But uh, yeah, it's quite handy. I mean, I'm only bringing stuff from the truck, but it's uh, definitely quite handy. Brought with me, I've um, got all sorts. I've got some cherry from uh, smoking, uh, some apple wood. Uh, but this stuff's the interesting stuff. There's a lot of it. This is called Rubinia. Uh, I believe it's an African wood. Uh, we just use them at work um, for outdoor things and it's a very dense wood, it's very hard to cut. You probably notice they've all got um, chainsaw marks in them. But it is very dense, very hard, very heavy. I'm hoping that's going to make it a very good burner. <clears throat> got this big one here, I think that's just going to be a chopping block because I'm not going to get through that. <laughs> Well, I've had a bit of a rest. <laughs> Got set up pretty quickly over there. Um, so if I just sit down for a minute, did have that long drive. Um, yeah, so I'm going to find some uh, tinder and stuff now. Some kindling just around the woodland here. Maybe out in the field for some uh, kindling, bit of a tinder bundle. And uh, get this fire going because I need to get this food on. Right, so I've got plenty of kindling and tinder and stuff. Got some bracken as well, so if you've lit a fire before, you know what 
that goes up like. I've got my little tinder pouch. And we've got, before I just do a flint and steel as it's pretty much my favourite way of doing things. Uh, got some cramp balls in here so I'll give them a go. If not I've got some char cloth. Nice bit of flint. Yeah, that should do the job. Well, I've got it. I did temporarily forget how to use a camera. But I've got a spark on the uh, cramp ball. So just put that to the side for a sec. Get this uh, tinder bundle ready. Uh, put that in there and give it a go. Got for a minute there, it didn't look like it was going to go. I <laughs> got a little worried, but we are up and running. And she'll be good now. Got to use uh, this so we don't scorch the ground in here. I could have uh, dug a hole, but this is the relaxed camp. Right, so these are the uh, Dutch ovens I wanted to show you. I've got two of them here. Uh, they were sent to me by Overmont. Um, they were sent a little while ago, so <laughs> apologies to you guys. Um, gonna show them today, try them out, and, um, cause I've not used them yet, so I, I need to get to grips with them. And then I'll probably do a little kind of review video, maybe just a, a one-off cook video with them as well. And um, I'm gonna use both of them today. Uh, so bring in for a bit of a closer look at them because I quite like these. So these are the Overmont Dutch ovens. We've got uh, on top here the 5.7 litre. I think that's about the same size as the one you've probably all seen me use on the channel a lot before. Um, some bits and bobs in there. <laughs> and underneath here, this big boy. This one is 8.8 .8 litres, so it's quite a big one. Um, so I've done dinner for three or four on this before. This one you could do a big group or you could do a big piece of meat, you know. Uh, I think uh, at present this smaller one is £45.70, this one's £54.77. So they're pretty well priced for what they are. Um, they've got this sort of stacking system, they're easy to stack. And you can use the um, lids to cook in too. They've got like the trivet built in. So you can put them over coals, uh, use them in a very versatile way. So I'm going to uh, do a uh, roast basically in them today. So I'm going to get my um, tripod out and uh, see how they do. So one other thing, I got in contact with Buzzy Wax. Um, found them on Instagram and uh, they make these sort of wax oil concoctions come in the little tins, they're from the US, and um, these are basically to season your uh, cast iron. Uh, so you can just put it on a rag, put it round, um, bake it off, 
do a couple of coats. I think I did three on each of these, inside and out, lids and the main thing. Um, so I'm very eager to see how this works as well. But um, I'll talk more about that in the video I do on, on these as well. But that's, uh, that's uh, Buzzy Wax. Uh, I know they're on Instagram, they've got a website obviously, it's on the uh, tin here. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that works out. Well I've got some uh, lamb shoulder here, with some garlic and I've got some rosemary as well. So I'm just going to make some incisions and put the uh, garlic and the rosemary in the lamb shoulder. Well, there she is, looking nice. I've put some extra rosemary and garlic in there. That'll do for the gravy at the end. And I thought putting some red wine as well. So we've got some South African uh, spicy and full-bodied pinotage. I don't know. So we're just putting a load of that in. Ugh. It wasn't the most expensive bottle in the shop, and I'm not much of a fan of wine anyway. It'd make a nice uh, gravy though. So, I'm going to stick this on the tripod. So the last minute I just swapped over to the smaller Dutch oven, I forgot I wanted to use the bigger one for roast potatoes. It's got bigger surface area, um, so this fits in here quite nicely. It's a little peak. And that's on and going, so that's going to take a good while and I'll probably rest it while I'm making the roast potatoes later. Can't help it, just a little peek. Yep, that's getting on. This, by the way, is a uh, lid lifter. Both of the uh, Dutch ovens come with one. I didn't think too much about this because I've only got one small fire pit, I haven't got a big one um, and two Dutch ovens so what I'm going to do, I've cleared a little area here I'm going to take this off and kind of test out the trivets on the bottom with some coals underneath and I've put some water with some potatoes in in this one um, just to parboil them before I roast them and uh, that should be another test as well really because of water in the cast iron uh, so yeah I'm going to take some coals out and uh, put this on now hang this.
I'm going to check on my potatoes. Could do it a little longer. Probably need a bigger flame. A bit of a stir in there. Well, I've got my bed all set up now, I've inflated the firmer rest and Got the sleeping bag out, so it's all ready. Because I'm probably going to have a beer or two. <laughs> um, also got my collapsible dog bowl out. If you haven't seen it used before, it's just a simple collapsible dog bowl, and it's really good for putting your uh, things in that you're not using while you're camping. Your phone, your wallet, your keys, a lighter, whatever you've got. Keep them to hand. Keep them right next to you. Don't get lost. And you can put like your head torch in and stuff when you go to bed. I find it really helpful anyway. <laughs> so I've got my potatoes on, they're roasting. Still got uh, coals underneath and on top of the lamb, which uh, is looking pretty nice. Um, I've got some gravy granules I'm just going to mix in with that red wine and the juices just to make a, a gravy. And I've probably done quite a lot. Pretty too much for just me. Hearing a a lot of wildlife in here tonight. Saw, I think I called it on video actually, a um, buzzard as I drove in right up uh, by the woodland there. Got that on the um, dash cam. But yeah, hearing a lot of noises. Can unfortunately hear the road just about. Don't know if the mic's picking it up, but uh, is what it is. It's a nice little spot. It's a nice woodland. Well, here we are. We should be. Oh, that looks pretty epic. Oh, it's falling apart. It really is falling apart. Come on, come on. Wow. I need to put some gravy granules in there. I should probably use the spatula. Oh, there we go. Right. Looks amazing. Bring that in, <laughs> give you a better look. And some of them potatoes. Sound nice and crispy. I'm just going to pour on a little bit of this. Nice thick gravy. Wowzers. Check the potatoes first. Hot. <laughs> mm. Crispy, fluffy, perfect. That lamb is lovely. This is a very rich gravy. 
the red wine, the juices from the lamb and the, the gravy granules. Plus the rosemary and the garlic in there. Mmm. Oh, that's some flavour. <laughs> That's the washing up done, now time for a treat. Got a Punk IPA brew dog. Cheers. Well that's me done for the night, had a couple of beers, sat by the fire, had a chill, and I'm happy. <laughs> so it's time for me to get into my long johns and get in the sack, so uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. The uh, sun's not proper up yet because we're in a valley here so uh, it's not got proper bright. But I've got the fire going because there's a bit of a chill and uh, yeah I need some breakfast. Got off about seven so it's probably about quarter to eight by now. <coughs> Early night. <laughs> it was good. The uh, Dutch oven seemed to come out okay from a camp clean. It's not the best of cleans, but uh, I'll uh, sort them out properly when I get home, make sure they were clean and dry. Uh, I've not re-oiled them. That buzzy wax seemed pretty good. We'll go into that in more detail in another video.
Right, yeah, I'm going to let this burn down to some coals and uh, get some pancakes and bacon going. Mmm, it's a good pancake. Mm-hmm, this is living. Well, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that one. I did. Nice relaxing uh, camp with some good food. Uh, won't be so long for the next video, I promise. Uh, I'm off to the beach now in Cornwall to uh, do that camp and uh, you'll see that one soon. See you on the next one.